Today we're going to chat a little bit about light tackle fishing. Often when we save up to go on a special fishing trip, it's an expensive trip and you wait months to get to the destination, you get there and the weather's bad and then you're so disappointed because you can't fish. Now that's when I just sort of sit back and I pick my lightest rig I got and I go fish those difficult conditions, then I don't mind what I catch. I just want to catch any fish, so conditions are rough, the sea's not nice, but you've got this light little rig and you go catch smaller fish just to keep yourself busy you're in paradise so you might as well fish so something similar happened to us now when we were in Mozambique the first few days the sea was very bad conditions were rough we couldn't fish with the big stuff and I scaled down completely and I ended up using this light rig catching a whole big variety of smaller fish and the two days where the weather was actually bad turned out to be two great days of light tackle fishing all right, so, so let me talk you through this little setup we used. So what I decided to do was scale down and fish with a five inch jerk shad, which I paired with a nitro jig head. I went three, eight, one ounce sort of weight as light as possible. There was a bit of wind blowing, a head went into our face. So I had to get a little bit of weight to get the lure in the water. So the rod I was using was a 10 foot, one and a half to three quarter ounce regiment rod very light perfect for this light tackle fishing solid backbone still when you need it nice tip action quite a fast tip action it works the drop shot nicely and then i paired that with a clash 4000 and i spooled it with 20 pound spider wire smooth very nice braid nice and thin it's a smooth braid as they say and it costs extremely well especially in the difficult conditions when there's a bit of wind blowing and you've got a light lure which you want to try and cast as far as possible The retrieve I used while fishing with this light tackle outfit was quite a fast twitch. Um, I couldn't actually get the lure to go sit on the bottom and do my normal long sweeps and move it slowly because the water was too strong. It was a strong side wash and if I wanted to do that, the, my jerk shade would just wash out the zone and I couldn't be in touch with it and I lost control of it. So I found that I casted it and immediately clicked over and just worked it back quite fast. And by doing that, I could stay in contact with my lure and I could give it the action I required. It worked well for us in those conditions and we managed to get quite a few different varieties of species on this lure. When the fishing gets tough, go down to a 5 inch drop shot. Had a few bumps, I've had about 15 throws. It's the first little fish on, but uh, for a very difficult day where we couldn't find a bite at all, the drop shot's just producing the bite. Live fishing, great fun. There we go. Beautiful little bluefin kingy. One of those reef species that hunt on the reefs and he loved this drop shot. Pretty little guy, look at those colors on him. Right, let's go put him back. Try and get something a little bit bigger.
Okay, there's another species on the five inch drop shot. This little green spot kingy. So one of those reef dwellers. A nice strong fish for your size. Always fun to catch on the light tackle. Initially when we started fishing, I battled get bites. I was working the drop shot a bit slow. I changed my action a bit. I did like two long strokes initially and then a bit of a jerk and just working that the drop shot with the tip of the rod, giving that nice fast like zigzag action in the water. And that really got the fish going. I'm getting a lot of bites and a lot of fish chasing. So I'm gonna keep on persisting and hopefully get something nicer and bigger. Okay, so put it back. Oh. They got very sharp screwed flutes on the tail, whatever you call them. And they like to cut you, so they generally draw a bit of blood when you hold them like this. little GT. So that's our third species on this drop shot session. This is not big fish but on days when the fishing is difficult this is the type of fish you can do. Scale down to the five inch as light as possible and still have fun in difficult conditions. 